Hey, it's Dorlene and welcome to my creative life. Today I'm working on a layout part of this Rediscover Your Stash hop and the stash is acrylics. Now, I, first thing I thought of was acrylic paints and then as I was laying out my pictures, I'm doing a month in review for the month of May in 2022. Not a lot of photos, um, so it's going to be one layout. But I decided I have a lot of acrylic blocks. I'm going to use that. I'm not a big mixed media person on layouts only because I don't like the wetness of it. So there's a lot of wrinkles and I just don't like that in my layouts. But um, by using inks, it's not going to wrinkle my paper. So I went to my ink stash and I grabbed some colors, uh, basically, well, as you could see, blue, yellow, red, or a version of red. And um, I just took the acrylic blocks and I'm going to stamp using the blocks as my, in quotation, stamps. When I first started doing it, I started looking and you could barely, barely, barely see the color on there. But I also realized that I've had these stamps for probably more than 15 years. And so they're probably drying out a little bit. But when I was cleaning the acrylic block, I realized with the white, it was adding a little bit of moisture on there. And so that helped. So I redid the blue. And then um, you can see I'm doing the, I think this is actually called um, cranberry. Yeah. Um, but anyhow, I'm going to call it red. And so I did the same thing with the yellow. I, I kind of cleaned the block first just to add some moisture. And then I went ahead and stamped, like I said, all over the page. I really like the way this looks. Very kind of grungy and, and not really in your face colors, which is okay. Again, I don't normally use mixed media in my layouts, but this is definitely becoming a mixed media layout. So I'm just putting the photos down again, trying to decide what I'm going to do. So I have this little bag um, full of different shapes. I've cut black, white, and like a neutral all the time, um, different shapes, different sizes, because I use these for um, either like embellishment cluster bases, journaling blocks. Um, I even use them on my cards. I use them all the time. So if you subscribe to my channel, you've probably seen me dig through this before. So I knew I was going to use that as a title. But before I put those down, I decided to use a very thin black pen and just really wonky go over the blocks that I just stamped. And I put my hand up towards the top of the pen. So I kind of gave it more of a free because I wanted that wonky look. This is a script stamp that I use all the time when I use uh, my junk journal and I'm just um, putting stamping the script here and there just to add a little bit more to the background because I knew it needed a little something. I was going to spray some um, well like some ink spray but again not really a big wet media person and um, usually when I do that it's more of an afterthought so I just do here here and there but I decided against it for this layout. I did realize I had some acrylic stars so I did grab those. You see those little glasses over there? I thought those would be cute too but then when I kind of compared it to the photos it, they didn't really add any. I mean like it's kind of random to have glasses on this so I stuck with the acrylic stars they're all black. They're all different shapes and all different kind of stars. And so I'm just putting them, um, well, you see where I'm putting them. And once I adhered the photos, I'm sure of where I'm going to be placing, like I said, the acrylic stars. And then in a minute, the uh, base for the uh, title. So again, I mentioned this is a hop through Rediscover Your Stash, which is a Facebook group. And not only do people share their layouts on a regular basis but there's always all kinds of little challenges and again um, there's usually at least one hop a month and this is it so use your acrylics for the month of august you can post your photos for sure on that uh, facebook link i'm not sure how to link facebook to my information box but i'll try if not just look up rediscover your stash um, i'm sure it's pretty easy to find but um I will have a link to my blog and also my Instagram account on the in the information box and of course all the other hoppers because this is a hop and so the best thing about hops is you get to see what other people do with the challenges because you know everybody's going to have something different which I love about this type of thing. Um, if you just saw me a minute ago I put some labels on the different photos because it's a month in review if you looked at this page, it doesn't really tell a specific story, so it does need more information. I didn't leave a lot of room for like a lot of journaling, but also month in review, there's not a lot of journaling. That's the reason why I kind of clumped the pictures together. I think the pictures were worth taking, 
it was worth remembering. It just maybe it was just I didn't need to do a one one photo layout of whatever those photos are. So top left, Mother's Day uh, flowers and gifts. Top right, uh, my son coached the JV championship team. Um, t- bottom left, that picture of my husband and our granddaughter. Absolutely love that because they're like little twinsies. And that's all I wrote in the label. Just very simple one, two letters. And then the bottom right, um, my son in a new hospital. Um, and uh, so after I did that, I decided I wanted to put one more little something over there on that top right because, you know, I always think of odd numbers. So I added that black enamel, enamel dot there, even though it's not acrylic but it works. And then I grabbed my stickers and this I did off camera for some reason, but um, I didn't have a Y. So I did a V and then I cut a a leg off something else. But those stickers have like a little bit of a script to it. So that gives it like a old worldy look. I don't know. You probably can't tell too much, but I didn't like the way it looked. So I grabbed an acrylic paint pen and I covered them to make them solid black. And then now I'm just adding little dots here and there. But I thought, thought that just was adding a little fun. But that's it, folks. I think this turned out really cute. Totally something different than I would have ever done. And it just went from one thing to the other. So I love challenges for that reason, because it kind of takes you out of your comfort zone, or at least I try to do it that way. But I hope you like this video. And if you do, give me a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I do post at least two videos a week. One is always scrapbooking. The other is whatever it is I'm creating in the command center. The command center is the name of my craft room. Also my blog, which like I said, I'll have that information below. But thank you so much for watching. And please make sure to check out the other hoppers. Bye.